I'm spending 24 hours on this pier with no food at all. So basically, these are the rules. I am not allowed to fish anywhere else but this pier. If I want to go for a spear fish, I have to spear fish underneath the pier. I cannot leave. Let's go get our fish, guys. Let's go. Today we're at Palm Cove Jetty and it's already, it's early morning and it's already super hot. There's no wind, conditions are on point here. And you know what? The jetty isn't that packed today. Please put down in the comment section, what have you caught from Palm Cove Jetty? Actually, I'm gonna do a couple of casts right here. I'm gonna start off using this vibe. Normally when I do these challenges, I come out, I catch one fish and I eat late, you know, 10 to 11 o'clock at night. I'm gonna try catch my lunch and my dinner today. I've got some bait in the bag. We've got the cast net. Hopefully we can catch some live bait. I've heard they catch Spanish mackerel off this off this jetty. There's a few rocks around there. I'm gonna try to have a couple of flicks there. And I'm already snagged. No! Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. No, first freaking cast. I don't know if Palm, Go Palm Cove jetty is like fucking completely fished out, but we're gonna see how fished out it is. I'm spending 24 hours on this pier, so if we don't catch nothing, so the two reasons, number one, I'm the worst fisherman in Australia, or number two, fished out. Second cast. Is that bait just there? Garfish. Yeah, just there. Oh, look, there's one. Come up there. I don't know if you can see it on the water there. Look at them all bubbling the water. Yeah. We've only been here for like 10 minutes and already look what we're seeing. Did I catch much here or is it pretty much fished out? Like, no, mate. People... No, you good catch? Here. No, 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 it's good. you a good day then. I'm just walking up and down this pier and you're not going to believe what I'm seeing on the pier. I can't believe it. Fucking squid ink, man. Look at it all. Look at it. Make sure you stay tuned, tonight's gonna to be a big night. We're gonna go for sharks, we're gonna go for squid, we're gonna go for barramundi, we're gonna do all sorts of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go do the rounds and see if anyone's caught any fish. Any yeah. luck, fellas? Nah, I've just been here for nah, Any luck? Oh, I just been. Mm, they got finger marks? No. I like this jetty for one reason, this platform here. As you can see, there's a nice little platform and there's one over there as well. So if you do hook up a fish here, instead of trying to lift it so high, you can walk down these stairs and just bring it up right here, which is good. And if you can see, there's another one here. It's going to come in handy tonight. I reckon tonight's going to be the go, man. We're in the afternoon. That's where it's all going to happen. Good cast. Good Are you going to be here long today? Uh, I think lunchtime. Nothing on that one. What have you normally caught from here? The biggest fish I caught was a nine kilo queenie, and that was the size of that silver on top of the head and the... Jesus, nine kilo from here. Off what? Bait? Uh, that was live bait, yeah. Just a little wool, uh, little herring. Shit. So I was just speaking to that bloke. I do you have my spear diving stuff in? He said that a couple of the boys jumped in, speared at the top of the pier, got to Barramundi. So that's what I might be doing today, mate. There's a ton of bait fish here, which is good. I think we're going to use some bait. Ooh, something big down there. Something big there. I didn't realize how big this actually jetty is in Palm Cove, man. Oh, she's getting hot. And as you can see behind me, there's Double Island there. We've caught a few fish at Double Island. Apparently they get crayfish at the back of Double Island, but I don't know. Put down in the comment section if you've got crayfish from the back of it. I'm still trying to get my first crayfish. Someone's towing someone in. All right, it's almost 12 o'clock now. Nothing, no one's caught anything on this jetty yet. I reckon the go, it's always the way tonight around three, four o'clock. We'll get the bait out soon and use some bait, but I am gonna, I wanna dive under this pier today. So see how we go. This is what we're gonna use. Exactly what we caught that Chevalier on at Cardwell. We've got the hook sticking out, the head, and we're just gonna cast it straight out. You never know. Getting desperate now to eat something. Just seen a queen fish jump or a kingfish or something. We've had little bites on this one, so we're gonna check it. Hey, 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 Donna, Donna, here. Donna, come and have a look at this. Yeah, I don't know what it is. For anyone that doesn't know what this fish is, this is actually a puffer fish. You don't want to touch this or eat it. Oh, I might have to cut it. So I'm just here with Sam. I watched a couple of the videos. There you go. And what did you say? Some bloke yesterday? Oh yeah, on the jetty just here yesterday at Palm Cove, probably about this big, a queenie, just wow. caught up the end here. On prawn too, just on like a, prawn. a little bit of prawn. Oh, there, there, there. See? Yeah. 
Pretty close, eh? I'll follow you, probably. He's there, he's going that way. He's still there. I reckon it looked like a queenie. Got a fisher around here, we're gonna try to get him. It's starting to come alive now a bit, yeah? So the tide is just at its lowest now, so when it starts coming, the tide starts coming up, I'm gonna jump in. Still there? Uh, he, just, he went around in circles, sort of figure eight, and then just stopped. He was chasing the bait. Decent size. I've seen those splashes from over there. One of the fellas said they just sent a GT swim under the pier. Like I just can't get him on camera. They're just too quick. They come up, smash food, and they go down again. What is it? Something nice? It's like it's pretty, it sounds pretty good. Does it feel good? Decent, it's running a little bit. What is it? There's a pier there if you want to go lower. Oh, it looks like a trevally, bro. Little dark fish, is it? Can you eat them? Nah. I mean, you could if you had them, <laughs> I'll, I'll eat it. I've heard, I've, that's not like a trevally. Maybe it's family. a little. Look at the comment trevally? section, guys. What do you reckon this is? Baby trevally? Yeah, I don't Looks know if they've like got those. Yeah, they don't know if they've got them big. Yeah. Fuck, it took off hard. I'm going to say trevally just because it looks like it. Yeah. Well done, bro. Show me a video of a Spanish mackerel that's been, it's on YouTube, that's been caught off this jetty. And you're the person? <laughs> Beauty. Yes. How big was it? I think 1.3. You use live bait for that or? Uh, yes. Yeah. Dead, dead, dead bait. Wolf, wolf herring. Let's have a look at the setup he's using. Look at this thing. These are your lure, isn't it? Yes. It's 100% handmade. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> That's a blue water, man. Oh, what is it? That's too big. I've got the dive gear out at the time during the day. A bit scared to be honest. There's a mango system right here. We're just gonna give it a crack. Okay, please God, make sure everything is okay. Please. So I'm gonna start from the start of the pier and I'm gonna work my way down that way. So I'm gonna suit up, get ready. Hopefully we can shoot something. So I finally made it in the water. It only took me about half the day to convince myself to get in there. So as you can see, I'm halfway down the pier and it was so dirty, couldn't see past my spear gun. So this is what happened. I got out of the water and one of the guys said to me, no bro, you have to go to the end of the pier. There's two pillars there, that's where they get the fish. So I wanted to jump in again, just to see if it was clearer than where I was. Bring it up here, brother. What's he got? He's got a barrel. Oi. Go, 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 go. Those are pretty fat cod. Yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow, what a Look fish, bro. Oh, that's Thank you. Look at that. Hold it up, bro. Well done, mate. <laughs> that's the best fish of the day, man, that one. What am I scared for to go in? Don't be scared, mate. There's nothing here. There's no crocs or nothing. The only one I saw was this big. Yeah, tiny huh? little. The only one I saw last year was that two foot. Tiny. Whoa. Today, a spear fisherman lost his life. A 14 foot alligator has just come out of nowhere. Grab me, Jamie, where? Down the end? Yeah, just straight to the end pole and go left. Second time jumping in, and as you can see, it's exactly the same as the middle of the pier. It's so dirty. So, I guess if you're going to go spear fishing underneath this pier, and by the way, you're allowed to, you just got to pick your days where it's not so murky and dirty. Good luck if you do it. Look who's here on the jetty. We got Adam. Um, I don't know if you remember Adam's the bloke when I first rocked up the cans we went to where was it Mowbray? Went to Mowbray, yeah. Come on the jetty and he's actually got <laughs> We got a big shark left. rig, we're gonna try to get a big shark off the jetty. I'll give you an example of how big the hook is. Like what bait are you using for it? That what is that? We've got a stripey from last time I went to the reef. Here's size. No one's really caught nothing on the pier besides that cod that you've seen today. Now is now should be prime to catch fish. So we'll see how we go. That's good, eh? That's gonna wake us up tonight when we set the swags up here. We're gonna have all the rods out. We're gonna, did you bring bells? Yeah, I got bells there. So we have bells on the rods tonight, and we'll just kick back at the swag. We hear bells <laughs> go off, we'll just get out. I'm just gonna sleep like this. <laughs> <laughs> so the boys are gonna join into the challenge. So if they catch anything or we catch anything, we're just gonna eat together and try get something to eat. Hopefully we can. Tell me this isn't the best bait you've seen. <laughs> Why are you put so many on? Hopes and dreams. More bait, more fish, we reckon. Putting my bait in, literally getting cleaned up so quickly, man. I don't know what it is, either crabs, little fish, I don't know. No fish. 
no one on this jetty is actually catching anything. This could be the first time me spending 24 hours on a pier, no food. Hopefully the night brings in something different. This is what I'm copying, man. Put down in the comment section, what do you think that is? I'm hungry. Tonight, tonight's the night. The conditions are on point. There's not really a ripple in the water. It can happen, just like that. I'm telling you, I've seen it happen like that. So one of the boys gave me a live bait. We're gonna throw it on, because I just got cleaned up again. Sit there, let's throw it in. Right, I'll put that live bait out. I'm gonna see if it's still on the hook. It's all right for a live bait, yeah, you reckon? Yeah, that's a banana fish though. Um, trout candy. So at this time of the day, I was starting to feel really flat, but I didn't want to give up. So I wanted to ask anyone else if they're getting any hits and how they're going. Is it just me that can't catch fish? Any luck? Nah. Any luck, mate? Nah, man, not really. Nah. Any luck? Nah. Nah. Any luck? Nah, not yet. You doing any good fishing? Nah, not really. You doing any good, mate? Nah, any luck? Nah. No luck? Oh, no, nah, man, it's nah. about the hook. Any luck? Nah. 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 Any luck, mate? <laughs> Nah. <laughs> oh, one ray, bro. One ray? Any luck, mate, in the squid jig? Nah. nah. Any luck, mate? Nah, mate. Still there, there it is, there, look. Yeah. Look, fish. Garfish fish hanging around. Long tong. There's another one there. Is that garfish? Long tong. Long tong, that alligator guy. Nice little finger mark, man. <laughs> Where'd you get that on, that, that fish? It's a prawn. Yeah. It's a nice prawn? Yeah. Yeah, well done, bro. This has never happened on a jetty before. We're in struggle lane here, boys. Still got over six hours still, guys, so we'll make something happen. I promise you. Yeah, that's dangerous, yeah. There was three, I think that's the fourth one, because the other three went the other way. Oh, really? Through there, yeah. He's on. Did you get it up? Pull him on, pull him on. Jack, put it to the right of you. Yeah. Check hey, this out. Can you help me? <laughs> pull it up, pull it up. Pull that. Whoa, is that a cod? <laughs> yeah. No, Let's check this live bait. They must be really small fish, but then we've seen big fish today. Uh, mackerel jump, we've seen Trevally, gone Trevally, so. That's fishing, eh? I think they call them a scorpion. Oh. <laughs> Good for uh, beach. Oh, yes. Put down the comment section what this is. What is it? No, it's a rock it's a fish. <laughs> is it a stone fish? No. <laughs> it's not a stone no, fish. They call them a scorpion it. fish. So, no, no good it. for bait. It might be alright for bait. Just don't get hit by the spikes. Ooh, was it running? Yep. Take it easy, take it easy. Finally, we've got a decent hookup tonight, boys. What's your name, bro? Matthew. Where's it going? Yep. Oh, what is it? Silky. What's behind it? Oh, What's behind what is it? That? That's a silky. Is it? Yeah. Eat it tonight or what? Hey, they're the best eating sharks because they have the lowest mercury out of all the sharks. Oh, no. I thought it was a black tip. He's also disease. Look at his tail. Beautiful, man. Hey. See you, mate. There he is. Look. Yes! Adam, you got it? We're on, boys. Maybe. Let's go. I don't know turtle. Clip that on. You feel him? I don't know. Still there? Yeah, he's there. Let's drag him on the beach. Actually, he might have come off. Oh, I did see it. Nah, because it's kicking. Let it go for a sec. I don't know if he's swimming towards me or it's a blue Keep way. winding, keep winding, bro. Just keep feeling him? I don't know. I think he's swimming towards me. He's there? Yeah, he's there, bro. I think so. He might not be. I don't know if he's just swimming towards me or Where what? is it? Is that leader? Yeah, he's probably just he's probably not that big, like you had to drag pretty loose, yeah? Nah, it'd be decent. You feel it? I think so. Watch out for that rod. I think he's just down deep. Yeah, he's there. He's there. Alright, let's start making our way back. No, we gotta get him close first. I don't know if he'll me. swim underneath the pier. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, we've been waiting for this. All night, boys, waiting night. for this. And what's the time now? It's almost 11 o'clock. Yeah, he's not that far away. We've got like 50 yards. That's it. He's a nice fish, bro. It's a shark. Do you feel the head thump? Hip, see it? Yeah, someone, has anyone got a spotty? Yeah, someone had a big ride towards the Can you on that rod in, bro? Big fish, bro. You've seen the hook that we've got on this, on this rod here. Where's it going out to double island, bro? And then as soon as it gets to the green, it means it's more than 100 foot out. Oh, I pulled, I think. Oh, Did it? Nah, it's still there. She's swimming towards you. It's still there. Mate, that hook, I would love to see what this is right now. We don't want to lose it. This might be a big fight. Yeah. It might be here for an hour, bro. I'd love to feel it, man. Go feel it. You just hold it one. Oh my god, feel that. It's like a, tr it's like a truck, bro. 
All right, take it, take it, take it. All right, let's start walking back. You guys want to appear. Yeah, show the light where the line is. Where is the line? Where is it? Yeah, turn him back, turn him back. Hey? I'll turn him back. Oh, I pulled. Bullshit. Oh, no, wait, wait. No, he's coming towards you. Oh, no, no, it's still no. there. Yeah, yeah. There it is, there, there it is, there. Show us a light. Who's got a bright light? Nah, that's yeah, just that's a... Yeah, that's That's a piece of seaweed. So he's gone oh, under. He's gone under, he's gone under. No, he's swimming back. He's too big. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow, man. look at the size of it, bro. Oh, How big's the hook? Oh, is it? 90, no. I think it's a thousand pound wire, Trace. Wind your rods in, boys, if you got your rods out. That's my rod. Someone wind that rod in. That's my one. Quick, 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 wind the rod, wind it. There it is. Oh, there. That's a bull. Is it a bull shark? Yeah, that's a bull shark. Should be able to tell by the girth of his gut. Let's go to the beach. Let's go watch out for that rod, over that rod. We're just going to walk it to the beach as much as we can. Yeah, well. And then we're going to have a look at it at the beach. So stay tuned. This is big, man. This is a really big fish. We're almost at the end of the pier right now, boys. Walk of the shark, bro. Hey, he's going under. Oh. <laughs> Help a brother You're a legend, out, bro. Look at all the kids having a hold, mate. That's it, bring him Let in this way. Walk it this way, away from the pillars. I'm sweating here and I'm not even fighting it, man. Put the belt on. It's a bit heavy, eh? Hurry, hurry. Keep going, keep going. Where's the hook? Let's check. Look at this man. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Look at that. Yeah, no, we're going to have to cut it in there. Yeah. Oh, he's good. Look at the good garfish, bro. He's gone. That's crazy, man. Catch and release. <laughs> coming up for it. Here's a good one. Yes. Tell us a story, Kurt, mate. Oh, mate, the uh, couple of weeks ago, me and my little bloke were out here, and uh, he decided to ride his uh, push bike out here, sorry. Yeah. And he stopped out at the end. He went to put his foot on the, the barrier there, and he reckon? misplaced his foot. Yeah. And he ended up in the drink, right out on the point where you guys picked up that shark tonight. Were you here? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I jumped in straight after him, bro. Get out of there, guys, and I can get out of your comfort zone. Go fucking live. Spend time with your kids, because you don't know when your fucking number's up. Honest to God, guys, can't stress it enough. It can change like that. I love you, brother. Mate. Well done, mate. Yeah, no, thank you, Honestly. mate. All right, starting to rain. We're just about to try for some squid. Can you, can you feel it? Oh, it's just like a dead weight. You know what I mean? And if we get the line on the other side, yeah. and I'll just, I'm happy just to drop the rod and try and bring it up your side. You know what I mean? No way, man. <laughs> that is crazy. As you do on the pier. That is crazy. All right, let's fucking, let's run him down hey, the no, beach. Go, wine, 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 wine. It's a shovel nose ray, it's the white spotted one. Okay. Good eating? Apparently they're beautiful eating. I've never tried one, but he's so fucking. Wait for him to try see if he'll stick to the bottom again, then run up. Yeah, it's almost out. We're gonna run out of line. Everyone ready, watch out, and I'm Just gonna bring down the beach. Go, okay, you're gonna run out of line, go, 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 go. <laughs> Some going in this one, hasn't he? Come on, mate, you're not going to the net. Snapped him off. You had you were close, mate. You're close. The mono came out of the braid. At this time of the night, it was 2.30 a.m. I was absolutely wrecked. I wanted to lay down for half an hour and I gave one of the boys my rod and a squid jig and they absolutely smashed the squid. Only a one squid jig, that one right there. So we did a cook up, but I just want to say thank you for the boys, otherwise I would have starved. Still haven't caught nothing off a fucking pier yet, but thank you to these fellas. But don't worry, I'm going to make a dedicated video just for me to go out there and catch some squid. I got the bug back. I've never had lime and lemon with squid. Put down in the comment section if you've had it before. We've got nothing else but lemon and lime. So if you want squid, come to Palm Cove Jetty at night and you'll get some squid. This is my first ever squid in Queensland. Thanks to you young fellas, man. That's how I miss that. Thank you so much for sacrificing yourself for us. Early that morning, someone caught a barramundi around 5 o'clock, and then someone else caught a Spanish mackerel around 8 o'clock. We had fun. Put down in the comment section where you guys want to see me go next. Much love.